Hey, good morning, friends. I had a couple requests on how I um, adhered the fabric to the tin buckets. So I wanted to just show you a quick, easy video on how to trace things that aren't exactly straight. So this can work for the buckets or for lampshades or anything like that. So just get a piece of scrap fabric, and then I like to start at the seam of the bucket so you have a starting, starting place. Lay it down on the fabric and start with your pencil. It works um, if you have a heavy object or someone helping you hold down this edge of the fabric, especially because I never iron mine. My scraps are all over the place. And then just start tracing it as you're rolling it. And then just make your way all the way back over to your seam, and that will be your ending point. Now I go back and just do it one more time just to make sure that I got it correctly, and I do the top. And I'm watching the bottom the whole time that it's lined up on the bottom as I'm doing the top. Okay, now that we're all traced, I forgot to say something in the beginning. When you're getting ready to um, adhere your fabric and picking stuff out, I was just going to show you something like a geometric pattern doesn't work as well. Because you're cutting on an angle, you're not going to get it exactly straight, and it's just going to look a little bit off, unless you're amazing. Um, so I have chosen these two fabrics that are very non-geometric, and look great on things like that. So now that we're ready to cut it out, I always follow the inside of the line probably about, I would say almost a quarter of an inch in on both um, the top and the bottom because most of the tin buckets have these little lips on each side. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out and then I'll show you how to adhere it. Okay, so now that the fabric's all cut out, just to test it out, lay it on your bucket and kind of push it around. Make sure that it's fitting everywhere along the side. The good thing about these little IKEA buckets, the lip, I actually push the fabric up underneath the lip. And so it kind of can hide, you know, if you don't cut perfectly like I don't. Um, if there's any extra, like if you get to a spot and it's hanging over, just kind of mark it with a pencil, go back through and cut it off. So, um... Let's go outside and I will show you how to adhere it to the bucket. Okay, so now that we're outside, I'm gonna show you, this is the uh, spray adhesive that I get. You can get it at Hobby Lobby, it's $5.99. Um, it works great, I've used it for a lot of different projects. Okay, so first just get a starting point. You can start at your seam if you want. Make sure that you've cut enough that it'll overlap so you don't have a bare bucket showing and then just spray your bucket. Get your fabric where you want it to start it. And then I just turn it over and I just start going like this. It goes really quick after this. Just spray a little on. It's all right if a little bit gets on the back of your fabric. Kind of stretch it, pull it, It's really forgiving until the adhesive dries. But see, you can't tell that your fabric was wrinkled before, so I don't bother ironing it. And then just keep doing this all the way around. Okay, so now that I've gotten to the end of the bucket, I've overlapped it and I've got quite a bit of excess. So I'm just going to try to cut it off. I like to do it in a diagonal, but... You can do it however you want. And then just take your adhesive, spray your last little bit. I do it on the back of the fabric and on the front just to make sure that it stays. And then just smooth it out. Okay. 
So I hope that was informative. Sorry, my first video. It's early in the morning. I've been pulling weeds all morning. I'm still in my pajamas. So, and my cute husband's filming for me. So thanks, honey. Okay, cute fabric bucket. So I wanted to show you the finished product, what it looks like all finished. I just stuck it on a little antique vignette that I've got in my living room, and I think it looks super cute. I just stuck some grass from Ikea down inside of it. And anyway, I hope this inspires you to make some of your own, and I hope you have a wonderful week. Thanks for watching.